But what were some of the things you experienced during the growth process where you were like, I did not foresee this coming? That's a really good question. I would say that there are ebbs and flows. You would think that you just grow, and as you grow, you hire people at the same rate, and it just keeps growing bigger and bigger, and you're appropriately staffed, and everyone's happy, and policies don't fade because it doesn't work for 10 people, it doesn't work for 100 people, um, kind of those things. So I think that's definitely not the case, and you don't realize that the way that you ran your company with one clinic not won't necessarily work when you have three, five, 10, because when you were just one, you got to oversee everything, you got to control everything, mm -hmm. and if you keep doing that and don't bring other people in and training them and mentoring them to be able to do what you're doing as you're growing, you're not going to have your set of eyes at every clinic like you want kind of a thing. And you don't necessarily want it to be your set of eyes at the end of the day. You want to have trusted staff below you that are seeing things the way that you would see them speaking the way that you would speak, um, kind of understanding what we're about and knowing how to enforce that kind of. So I would say that was difficult. I would say delegating, letting go of some tasks that you just held on to because you've done it for two to three years when we started and you think that no one else can do it the way you do it, but that that will lead to your mental demise <laughs> as well as <laughs> right. the demise of like the policies and procedures you're putting in. So I would definitely say you're not going to be able to hire as quickly as you think you can. And if you do, it's really tough to find the ones that, that I just talked about, the, the ones, ones that stay. can carry through what right. you're putting out there. 